let's say I'm a, a seller and I'm going to launch one product. It's my first product ever. I just brought in a thousand units. They're on their way into Amazon. And what, how would you recommend that I set up campaigns, the initial, initial launch campaigns for a product like that? Of course, it's mm, going to depend a- on the category. So let's say we're in a uh, uh, sports and outdoors category. Mm, good question. So I'm trying to think of which way to tackle it first. Maybe I'll tackle good campaign structure. And then I'll tackle how you go about like the launch because the campaign mm-hmm. structure will bleed over into pretty much all ad strategies. And then the launch gets a little bit more specific. Um, good campaign structure, what we found is really about control. We like single campaign, single ad group structures. There's specific reasons why. There's a lot of people in the space who'll say like, you have to have a certain X amount of keywords. I don't think that's right. I think it's bogus. But I would say I wouldn't want over... 20 to 50 keywords, we find that that kind of dilutes things a little bit. Really what you find with this structure is if you threw everything together in one huge conglomerate campaign, like you threw all of your products in and all of the keywords and you had 20 different ad groups and it was this whole structure, I'll be honest, it's not, there's a lot of people in the space who say like, oh, it's because it has poor performance. That's not actually true. Um, sometimes actually when you create, I lovingly call them Franken campaigns because they're mm-hmm. like this mishmash of everything. Sometimes those are your best performing campaigns and it can be very, very frustrating to be honest sometimes. Um, but the reason why that would not quote be like, I don't want to say a good structure, but the best structure is when you find something in that campaign, you're like, oh my goodness, this keyword is phenomenal. And this one product works really well. And this one ad group is like, the A cost is amazing. I would love to put more ad dollars here. You can't because Mm -hmm. budgets are set at the campaign level and all products within that ad group will be advertised on whatever keywords you have in that ad group at whatever bid you have. So you end up with this big structure that you might have really good things within that structure that you can't like put more emphasis behind, put more ad dollars behind. So from a control perspective or a scaling perspective, you end up having to almost like rebuild the whole structure to fix it. So if you can avoid that on launch, I highly suggest you do that. And so that would be one campaign, one ad group, and then only advertising. I'm not above putting multiple variations into a single ad group. There's pros and cons to that. We actually kind of group them, but where we specify is on a per listing level. So for child variations, you can think of listings in some ways as landing pages. So Mm -hmm. you think about it, if you were running a traditional ad somewhere else, would you be sending that traffic to two separate landing pages when you didn't have control over like where that traffic was going? No, you probably wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And so that would be another way to think about the advertising. 